What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to use this new plugin. This plugin is going to allow you to control all of the colour channels on any of your footage and it's going to allow you to get some really unique effects which you can't currently do in Final Cut Pro. So this is an effect plugin and once you've downloaded it you want to save it in your motion templates effects folder. So if you open up Finder and then go up here to go, go to home, go to movies, motion templates, effects and I've got it saved right there with the other effects in there as well. So once you've done that then restart Final Cut Pro and go to your effects tab and you'll find it down here RGB split. So this comes with four effects in here and the main one is the RGB effect. I'm just going to drag that onto my clip and then up here in the settings you can see it's got the green channel, red channel and blue channel settings. So these are going to allow you to move all the channels in uh, all different directions, increase the scale, rotation and we have the red channel. So that's going to give you a really cool like blue and red effect. And then we have the green channel which is going to give you a purple and green uh, distortion effect. And then the blue channel is going to give you a like navy and yellow effect, just like that. So you can also mix these and uh, create different colors. There's uh, a lot of possibilities with this plugin. And you can also add shape mask to this. So if you just wanted to add like a nice prism effect to a certain part of your shot, you can just add a shape mask and then control the color shift in there. So that's a really useful feature that I uh, that I mostly use actually. Apart from the main effect and the main controls, there's also a red channel, blue channel and green channel separate effect. And these actually come with a distortion effect. So you can see here, as you move this one, it kind of distorts the channel and uh, it gives it like a really cool effect and looks really cool on moving moving shots where it just kind of like stretches out parts of the shot so yeah that is a new plugin i hope you guys like it and um, i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one